X Portal 3000 Hardware Setup Guide Using Device Lookup. In this step, you are going to log into X Portal 3000 server and client. Run your X Portal 3000 server configuration manager. X Portal 3000 server configuration manager window will be display. Click on the start button to start the X Portal 3000 service. Click yes to continue. Click OK if you already plugged in the USB dongle or running a free edition. You can see at the system status if the startup is successful. Run your X Portal 3000 client. X Portal 3000 client window will be shown. There are two default system user for the system. Please enter user ID and password. Click OK. You have successfully logged on to X Portal 3000 client. In this step, you are going to use the device lookup. Startup wizard will run automatically on software startup. Startup wizard also can be found at the top menu. To set up the hardware, click on the hardware icon. You can choose to use the device lookup, new controller wizard or manual add. Now, we will use the device lookup to set up the hardware. Device discovery will search for controller that using LAN network. Now we found one controller that available in the network. User can click on configure controller to change the IP address. The highlighted fields must be filled. Other fields must remain default. Set the IP address by using command prompt to check preferable IP address is not in use. Check the subnet mask and gateway using command prompt. Set the server IP address or click use selected server IP address. Click OK to save the settings. Enter the password and click OK. Click on Add Controller to add the controller. Follow the controller wizard step by step to add the controller. User need to enter the controller settings. Click Next to go to the next step. The next step is to configure the connection settings. Define the code and description. Click Next to go to the next step. In this step, user will configure the door settings. Define the code, description, and is attendance capturing door.
choose the reader type between MicroEngine A10 or standard Wigan 26-bit. The TTL settings should remain default. In this step, user will assign the door access to the staff. You can tick the All Staff checkbox to assign the door access or choose the selected staff only. Click the middle button to move the selected staff. Skip this step if you do not have any staff yet. Skip this step if you are not using any alarm panel. Check the summary of the settings before saving the settings. Click next to continue. All settings will be saved and downloaded to the controller. After you have completed the controller setup window, you can view the summary or test the connection. You can view the status of the controller in device list tab. You can check the status of the controller and door is up. You have successfully completed the step to set up hardware using device lookup. We would love to hear your feedback about this video. Let us know. At microengine.net slash support. You also may find us on Facebook, YouTube and Google+. Thanks for watching.